in this video we are going to see uh, how to check the financial statements in sap so uh, the transaction code here is f.01 f.01 so once you click uh, here you need to provide the uh, chart of account for us uh, the chart of account is tata motors operational chart of account then uh, give the company code like uh, i want to see it for company code tata motors us after that uh, you have the financial statement version so which will be created by us so i am going with the standard financial statement version but uh, if we want we can create our own like uh, in the financial statement version we will have a balance sheet under balance sheet we will have our assets and liability under assets you will have a bank accounts so fixed assets uh, like that so uh, you can create your financial statement but just now i am going with the standard one and in the reporting uh, i am going for the year 2023 and we can do a comparison for 2020 so it will show the balances of 2023 and 2020 2020 two i have not posted any transactions so it will not show up anything uh, now other than that uh, we have the option of uh, adding the ledgers so first i will show you uh, on the ledger specific uh, or a ledger uh, related information so i will select 0l ledger first and i will execute it so these are the transactions uh, which are posted uh, in SAP so far. And we can see comparison period is showing as zero. And here the difference between uh, the year 2022 and the 20, uh, 2023 and the 2022 will be shown here. This is one option uh, where you can see. Other than that, uh, here we have a ALV grid and also we have a tree control. So we can select this radio button and we can check the financial statement versions. Okay, then the next step is um, uh, in SAP, we also have a special evaluation. So under special evaluation, uh, we have the option of accounts with a zero balance. So if you want to see the accounts where the zero balance is there, so you can select this one and execute it. So it will show up uh, other accounts also. Uh, even if it is a account has a balance zero, so it will also show up here. So I will remove this checkbox now. And I will execute it. So here you can see uh, this is specific to laser zero L and the currency is in USD and these are the balances. Okay, now we have other options. So we can check or non-leading ledger. So non-leading ledger is 2L ledger. So I can check the balances for 2L ledger also. Just update 2L ledger and execute it. So here you will see that uh, ledger 2L is there and uh, currency we are looking at it, USD currencies. So you can see the, all the balances and uh, you know like um, always our uh, balance of all the accounts will always be zero. So that is what uh, it is showing up here. And other than that, uh, we also have a currency type. So let's do it for currency type 10. That is a company code currency. So now execute it. So because uh, it is um, company code is a US specific one and we'll see the amount in USD. So this is uh, 10 is USD. Now I will put group currency. So if I go and update the group currency here. So group currency and I have taken the non-leading ledger. Execute it. So you will see the balances in INR and this is a non-leading ledger. And you will see the currencies or the amounts which is in converted to INR. Same way, uh, if I do it for zero L ledger, if I execute for this particular currency type, so I will see the currencies in INR amount. So here also you can see INR. Now I will do it for 10. So 10 will be 
US and uh, we'll see the currencies. So here you will see the currency for all the uh, transactions in the USD. So this is how the company code uh, Tata Motors uh, US is been updated. Now we'll see if I want to check three company code at a once. Okay, let's do it now. We have three company codes, Tata Motors India and Tata Motors GB. Let's see, it's a GB or a UK, what we have given. Currently, I don't remember the name because of uh, so many days is over. So we have given Tata Motors GB only. So now if I give three different company codes, so what is the output we will receive? Let's see, execute it. Company code selected use different currency types. Okay, so that is the reason it is giving a warning message saying that three different company codes have a three different currencies. So that is the reason it is giving a warning like this. Let's go and execute it. So now uh, here you will see for GBP, it is showing as GBP currencies, amount in GBP and it is a non-leading uh, ledger is 0L. For India, Tata Motors India. So you will see the amount in INR. Here uh, ledger it is showing as 0L. Now if I go down, for US, uh, it is showing in the USD. And the ledger is 0L. Now I will go back with the same filter approach for the company code, I will put currency as 30. And ledger as 0L only. And let's execute it. So here, uh, you will see everything, even if it is a Tata Motors India, uh, currency is INRs. Sorry, Tata Motors uh, GB. The company code is uh, Tata Motors GB. So it is showing as INR. And here the company code is Tata Motors India is showing in INR. If I scroll down a bit, then here uh, Tata Motors US is also showing in INR. So our group currency is 30. And for group currency, it is showing all the transactions in uh, INR only. So 30 is our group currency and we have maintained group currency as INR. So that is the reason it is showing up in INR for all the three currency company codes. Thank you. And uh, uh, along with that, uh, you can, if you want, you can go to ALV grid, ALV grid tree also and cross verify the reports. Thank you.